Hi there, Dan from onlinebasscourses.com. Hope you're doing well. Now, I recently did a video on the Fender Jazz Bass and how to get a different wide variety of tones from that. Now, in short, that bass has got two pickups and that just makes it more versatile, really, than a P bass. And this is a bit of a generalization, but I would say the P bass, especially right now, is probably the more popular of the two. The P bass has been recorded just hundreds of times, especially from the 50s onwards. So you've heard it many, many times, but it's got this one split pickup here and a volume and tone knob. And that's that's really it. It doesn't really do too many things, but with a few different techniques and hand placement, you can get some different tones from it. But I think the beauty of a P bass is how well it just sits in a mix, either in a live situation or recording. I think that's why a lot of people use it. It just has pretty much one sound that just is great okay so if you're looking for a bass to record with or play in a band and, and want to know what to what's going to sound good you you can't really go wrong with one of these but equally if you're looking for something that does a bit more might one bass that plays lots of different styles then the jazz might be for you but uh yeah best of both worlds would be to have both wouldn't it but in this video, I'm just going to quickly whiz through a few of the different things you can get from this using fingerstyle, a little bit of slap and a little bit of plectrum. I think it's a good idea to, to know at least the basics on those three techniques. One really famous P-bass tone is obtained by putting some kind of a mute under the bridge. Now this is one that is kind of made of foam this side and it's it's a kind of sponge the other side so you can turn it over to get slightly different tones. But you can make your own, you can just get a piece of foam or a sponge and cut it to size and wedge it here and just move it up as close to the bridge as you can. And you know James Jameson was quite famous for that sort of a tone back in the 60s. So yeah, this is how that sounds. Just quickly to mention that this bass has got a set of nickel elite strings and they're quite played in, so they're not uh, brand spanking new. But if you want to get a really good rock tone from a P bass, a really brand zinging set of stainless steel strings, especially played with the pick, sounds really, really good. That bass I just played is a 1978 P bass and this one is a 1968. This one is strung with Fender, James Jameson, Labellas and that is a pretty classic combination, a P bass with flat wounds. Every bass, individual bass, will have a different kind of characteristic sound to it. I didn't really demo that on the last one, but the tone knob on the last one was fully up, and there isn't a huge difference on that bass between the tone fully up and the tone fully down. But let me just quickly play. That's tone fully up on this one, fully down. You can hear quite a big difference with that. And that really is all the the difference in tone that you can get from this P bass or any P bass really. You can alter the technique or the hand placement, but that really is the sound and that's kind of what I love about P basses and many people do. It just has one sound that seems to work really. And there's no fussing around with anything, it's just there. So let's go through a few tones on this one. Thank you. 
another classic 60s kind of tone is to put that foam mute back there again and use a pick and it's got a very characteristic sound. I think the thing with any bass is that it has its own sound and that comes down to the wood and the pickups and the, the electronics. But also the way you play it, your touch and you know the different techniques that you might add to it, it really, really opens up a huge, huge array of different ways of playing and different sounds that you can get from it. So I wouldn't normally choose to slap on an old P bass with flat wounds, but you know if that's the if that's the sound you want, go for it. So I'll just show you a little bit of of slap on this. Why not? So to conclude, I'd say, yeah, definitely not as versatile as a jazz bass, but it doesn't really matter. It's just got a sound that works and that fits. And that's why if you look at any magazine or video or listen to recordings, that's why you're going to see and hear it a lot. It's really, really popular. But, you know, I, they, I wouldn't get uh, bogged down with being in the Fender Jazz or the Fender P bass camp or even the Gibson or whatever. I mean, they're all different different tools really, and the way you play it is what really, really matters. If you've got any questions whatsoever, let me know and I'll get back to you. Now at the moment I'm trying to really grow this channel, so if you could like, subscribe, share, I'd be really grateful, and that really does help. And if you've got any video suggestions at all, let me know and I'll see if I can help. Cheers guys.